Right, I'm not quite sure what the date is. It could be 27th of May, something like that. Or even the 28th, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I'm in Cumberland, or Cumbria. Not far from Penrith, at uh, Pooley Bridge. Uh, Waterfoot campsite, or caravan park. Just down there, there's the mansion where we go and get our internet access. And yesterday I met this lady who, who's got her own caravan there. Um, and she told me about this walk. So you come out the back of uh, the campsite here, follow this track and it takes you to Dakar. Or Dacre, whatever you like to pronounce it. And then you can walk to Dalmain. So it's a brilliant day. I've been up since half past seven, seven o'clock. And um, the birds are singing, the daffodils are still out, the tulips are trying to come out, there's bluebells everywhere, the heather's out, the sheep are out. I've got to protect waterproof, so weather is changeable. Um, it's supposed to be pretty okay up here at the moment. So I'm not taking the van. So basically, I'm going on this walk. This is ideal. I was so overjoyed when she told me about this walk because I thought I was going to have to take the van and either park at Dalmain or Dakar and then walk there and back. Well, I've still got to do that. Although there is a circular walk she showed me. Um, you can walk and you can come back through Dakar, which is, which is probably what I'd do. So I'll be going past um, Dakar Church, where all the Hassel or Hazel memorials are. I should be going, um, I should go and see if John Hazel or Hassel's buried there. I don't know if he will, but he might be remembered in the church. But I don't even know if that'll be open. But it might be on the way back. Um, then I'll be following, going past the, the Pele Tower, the uh, sometimes described as a castle. It's um, it's a stronghold. It was it was built to keep out um, the reavers. Um, and I think it was also there a long time before when the Stuttvilles were about. I've got all the history on that and I've done it all before, but it's eight years since I visited Dakar and Dalmain. It's eight years have gone by. I can't believe it. So look, I was climb I climbed up on that halfway up that mound yesterday because you can walk right and there's a circular walk that takes you around and into the village of Pooley Bridge. I got some nice views of the lake and the campsite from there as well. <coughs> so this, I decided to stay the week because um, I didn't want to just come and go. I want I wanted to relax as well. The, this whole, this trip isn't just about looking around graveyards. It's um, cause that looks like an old cottage, doesn't it? Look at the back of that. It's been there a while. It's probably owned. I think it is owned. They rent cottages out. The um, Hazel family. Anyway, um, yeah. So eight years. Yeah, it's not just about um, doing family trees. It's relaxation as well. And I've got a special bond with Cumbria. Um, for lots of reasons now, not just family tree. Um, I came here as a young woman, 18 years old, and worked on the sheep farm for a little while. Worked in the brown jug at Penrith for a little while. Um, and um, there's Eileen and Audrey and Molly, Bill who's passed away. I'm not sure how Eileen or Molly are. I lost track. And I hadn't seen them for over 30 years before. And then I've, I've, it's been eight years and it's gone so quickly since I sold my house. I'm now in my second camper van. A Tolbert Express 1000. 1991 um, engine. It's 24 years old. I call her Alberta. Alberta and Roberta, because that's her, 
that's when she's um, that's her different characters so I, it's, I just can't believe I'm doing this you know when I'm sat in my flat back in Weston to be able to get out in the fresh air like this although I do get out at Weston of course I do I've been dreaming of this this year been able to properly tour I mean it's expensive I can't do it how I really want to I'd like to stay longer but the summer goes quick I got Iona to do yet in Scotland so this is an introductory video for today I'm not using it all just on this walk up this lane because this is my best camera and uh, it's just an introduction as to where I'm going today I think I can see somebody on a horse coming along right in the distance right I'm just going to get to this gap and then I'm going to turn off for now There's another little cottage down there, look. Right, over and out. <laughs> 